over and over again. You wouldn't see it if you're only watching CNN, but we've shown it to you. Although the Western media is not going to show you this story. I guarantee you, you're not going to see this story on the front pages of the BBC tomorrow, CNN, the New York, New York Times, or other places. You're not going to see reports of the thousands who have been laying down their weapons over the past few days. And here is uh, Rabatino um, and another surrender that's uh, happening. You can see them coming out of the brush, nighttime, night vision goggles again. I mean, they literally could be mowed down at a second's notice and they're being given refuge. Drop your weapons, lay down your Western weapons, lay down on your face, make sure that you're not having any grenades and tell us where you're coming from. Is there anyone else left in your, you know, in your troop? If there is, call them out and we will check you to make sure that there's no other explosives on you and then you will be given shelter you will be given food and you will be given medical attention but and here are some of the five points that were published in Jacques Baud, the nato specialist's book he says here are the ways that you surrender safely this is what russia is telling ukraine abandon your position and leave the combat zone isolate nationalist and sbu i guess snitches for lack of a better word record a video message to your command say that you've been abandoned by your commanders and it says be careful not to cross paths with nationalists whose task is to prevent you from surrendering or backing down by executing you well we've seen 